Okay guys, so welcome back to another video. I have uh, this, uh, I ordered this uh, Wilson uh, Duo Soft. Um, I ordered for $20, uh, 12 pack. And what I wanna do, I wanna compare it to the uh, Pro B1X. Uh, this is a brand new ball. It's the ball that I always uh, use to, to compare. So stay tuned. Okay, so first impressions, when I open the package, uh, I look at the balls. Um, I can tell you, I I play uh, Wilson staff before, but this ones they don't look very high quality. I'm sorry, but uh, they uh, they look a little cheap. I have to be honest. Um, compared to the Pro V1, it's just something about them that it looks cheap. So, anyways, uh, they claiming that it's the softest ball in the world. Uh, it doesn't seem soft from here, so I'm gonna take a few parts and uh, see how I feel. Okay, so yeah, it does feel soft. Uh, it doesn't look very good as far as the quality, but uh, it is soft. I'll, uh, I'll compare it right away to the Pro B1. Yeah. Hard to tell. Okay, so I would say the putting is pretty good. I don't see any difference. Uh, it's just uh, the visual, the way it looks. It looks a little... Um, I think I got what it is. What it is is that there are some dimples that are bigger than others, if you look at it. So maybe that's why I... Uh, I I, uh, I said that it looked cheap, but maybe not. So it is soft. Um, about the same, I would say, about the, with the Pro B1. I don't think you can see a difference in the putting for sure. Let me do a few chips and, um, and then I'll test it out. Okay, so chipping, I would say it's about the same with the Pro V1. I don't feel any difference at all. So I'm gonna do a little longer chips and see if I feel any difference. Okay, so I have to say that maybe on the longer uh, chips, um, it's pro it probably feels softer than the Pro B1. So I have to be honest here. Now my first impressions were that it looked cheap. I don't know why, that, but that was my first impression. But now uh, I see that it's uh, it's not bad at all. So it is soft. It is soft, like they claim. Uh, not in a way that is uh, uh, hard to explain, but uh, it's. It is soft, so I would say that it's softer than the Pro V1 for sure. So now I will test uh, some uh, shots with my 8 iron from 150 yards and, uh, and see how it feels from there. Okay, so what I want to add is that they do feel soft, but they don't have the glossy feel to it. Uh, it's hard to explain, but it's not like the Pro V1 or like the Bridgestone where you can uh, feel the glossiness on the ball. So, so that's kind of weird. Uh, it is soft though, but. It's not, uh, the feel is not um, like the touch. It's different, it's not glossy. So that's a downside to it. I will uh, hit my head iron to the flag and see how it feels. The feel wasn't very good. Uh, it almost felt like uh, like one of the uh, the balls that I use in my backyard, the uh, like the you know plastic balls. I'm sorry, I don't I don't mean to be, you know. I just want to give my honest review. Soft in that sense, not not in the sense like the feel good soft. So I hit uh, three shots there, and definitely it did not feel good. I have to be honest.
so I compare it to the Bridgestone and the Pro V1 and no I would say they don't feel as good as those in my opinion um, maybe it's not as bad as a plastic ball but definitely not uh, not to my standards I would say at this point I think uh, even the Inesis are better than this ones I would say I wouldn't spend you know if you're going for cheap balls I would like even try I would pref I prefer the Inesis 100 which I already reviewed them you can see I put a link over here so I don't want to back talk uh, Wilson stuff because I do have uh, some Wilson stuff before and they felt really good so maybe it's just this model that is not for me okay, so as far as the distance I would say it's about the same I didn't I don't think there is uh, um, I don't think they go farther for sure uh, so I would say about the same okay so here are the numbers for the Wilson stuff uh, it was pretty much uh, average I didn't notice any big numbers as far as uh, distance um, uh, average was 150.3 um, and then if I check my the ones with my probably with the probably one uh, it was about the same 150.7 a little higher with the probably one but not that big difference um, I didn't notice any big numbers uh, with the Wilson stuff uh, I was expecting to see a little maybe some high numbers maybe 160 or something but definitely not um, you have to consider that this test thing was done in cold weather so but anyways um, I did my testing with the Wilson stuff first and as soon as I switched to the Pro V ones there was the huge difference in feel so definitely uh, the Pro V ones feel better uh, same with the Bridgestones is um, it's a different feel definitely the only thing that I could say about the Wilson stuff uh, that it feels pretty good around the greens chipping and potting uh, were actually the chipping was even better feeling than the Pro V ones so but as far as the irons, hitting irons, definitely not. The feeling was not good at all. So overall, I would say um, I'm not I'm not too happy with it overall. So I think I'd rather, um, you know, if I'm going to play cheap balls, then I think I, I will do, you know, like like I said before, the Ines is, uh, I do prefer the Pro V1. And like I say, I play Bridgestones as well. So I like them as well. So and you can you can tell the difference on your iron shots around the greens these are really good though really nice and soft so maybe for my backyard or practice in your backyard they feel really nice and soft so but uh with the irons um i didn't like them so anyway so that was just my opinion uh just a quick review on this uh wilson stuff uh hope you like it uh let me know in the comments what you think uh, thanks for watching guys until next time